luck to our ingrown toenails um, surgery that we did yesterday. So I personally like to see um, my patient 24 hours uh, afterwards. But sometimes people go to work and they're busy and they can't make it. So in three days, some people five days is fine. But I prefer to see them 24 hours afterwards just to see how they're doing. So how was your how was yesterday night? So what happened when you left? Well, I left, it was still numb, couldn't feel anything. Excellent. As soon as I put it up, then I could start to feel the anaesthetic start to wear off. Yes. It wasn't too bad. No. And uh, I texted you yesterday, didn't I? Yeah. And you said it was amazing, right? <laughs> Your words. It was amazing. amazing. It was a good positive yeah. uh, vibe. And how was it like comparative to the surgery that you had with the other surgeons? This one, I rarely had any pain. Good. It's really good. It's not your foot. I just want to cough. <laughs> that wasn't too bad when I took it off, right? No. Not too painful. So it's already healed. Because remember you had that lump there? Yeah. <laughs> it's already, it's already. <laughs> what, you got super mass healing? That's good. <laughs> So this is 24 hours afterwards, and if you recall, there was a big gap between <laughs> between where the granulation tissue is, and it's healed really, really well. Let's not push it. <laughs> so that's it's healing really, really well. It's a little bit red from the surgery, but I'm not too worried. She's not she is on antibiotics. It was, it was red before. It's like chronically red. I'm just gonna put some there. So. When a patient sweats a lot, I like them to change their dressing quite, quite often because it's the sweat that can actually increase the risk of infection. So what we're gonna do is put that over there, gross. I'm gonna put some iodine dressing on. Stephanie, can I have a blue roll on the chair, on the chair, please? Thank you. So that's your medicine, okay? Did you remember using this? Yeah. Yes. And then we'll just cover it up, okay? And that will just kill off all the germs and everything like that. And then you just put one of these massive, or small tapes on. And then you just put one of these, and we'll give you some of these, okay? You just put it over. And we're, because you're gonna leave it on for two days, I'm just gonna put a tube grip. Oh, a tube grip, please, yeah. So a tube grip is just a tube. But because you're changing every single day, you don't have to make it fancy, like me. How was that when I removed it? Yeah. Have you seen my, no pain, <laughs> you're like, it's healed really, really well. And hopefully over time, maybe next week it will be calmer, and yeah. the inflammation and everything like that. So just to hold it in a little bit longer, because so what do you do again? What, do, what? How come you have to work 11 to 7? That's a weird shift. I work in a pub in Camden, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it explains a lot. Oh, are you sure you should be going to work? It should be fine, because you're not in yeah. pain. Uh, what shoes do you wear? What are you going to wear? I wear uh, black trainers. Black trainers, okay. A bit loose or a bit yeah, they're loose at the top. Yeah, just make sure you don't have any alcohol on, like spill alcohol on your shoes. To get stepped on, you know. Yeah, so I try to avoid. Yeah, <laughs> try to like like don't like do like um like a cocktail trick, you know. Like, <laughs> throw glasses in the air. Just my pals are that kind. I don't know. Canada's a cool place, so you could be doing like you could be like, you know, have like a fancy trick or something, you know. Obviously, <laughs> you never know. I'm just gonna put one over here. <laughs> oh, is that? <laughs> that was more scary. <laughs> that was more scary than the operation. <laughs> you scared me there a little bit. <laughs> Have you seen my? Did you see my YouTube channel? Oh, what's your name on it? Miss Foot Fixer. So some people don't come because they're from. Um, from they watched me on. Wait, how did you find us then? How did you like? Oh, obviously, did you search on the I couldn't find any like. Foot clinics near me. Oh. This one here, so I start reading the reviews. Ah. Do you think that you can just put a plaster over yeah. it and then the IAD just do that? But because you work in a pub, you're going to be on your feet all. Well, for you, it's a <laughs> half a day. <laughs> oh, half a day. Yeah, <laughs> all day. So today, you just... I, today I was to do a 1 to 11 shift, but I told them I'm not coming in. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> and what you want to do is just really check for the, the any kind of like the. the, the kind of redness and anything like 
keeps on moving up, it's fine. It's localized to the area of how it was before. But you should be fine because you're on antibiotics. Continue to take your painkillers. And later on, you can take some ibuprofen to just calm down the redness. But right, right now, don't, don't take any ibuprofen because it'll just stop healing. Um, and we need the first couple of weeks to heal properly. But like I said, it's already sealed. So the more you compress the dressing, um, that will heal in. And then it's just waiting to see if it will grow back or not. Remember, all surgery has a unfortunate 8% chance of you grow. You feel it. You feel like there's something inside. And then we just need to redo, redo it. Yeah. Just one of those things. Yeah. And do you have any questions or anything? How long do you have to keep it dressed for? Like, keep it dressed for? Until it's like dry. So right now it's quite weepy, right? So yeah. when you take up the dressing, uh, that, that orange medicine uh, will, will be white. That means there's still germs there. So when you take it off and it's still bright yellow, it means well, it's fine. Uh, also, um, if it's when you take off, so if you stop using the antiseptic, the antimicrobial dressing, and then you just put an old plaster, if you take it off and you don't see any yellowing or weeping or anything like that, and it's, and it's it's fine, then you can let it air out. Some people in the in the next kind of like after two three weeks in the evening when it's like partially dry. Um, they leave it open, like spray some betadine. I'll sh show you which one to get. Can you get the betadine? Um, and then they spray it and then they sleep with it open. Um, but just just be careful because sometimes it's the inflammation. Um, it's the, 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 uh, the, that's the thing that takes a long, long, longest time. And sometimes if you don't take care of it, then you get infections and things like that. Then it gets really complicated. Then they have to move the whole toenail. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure that's the. I'm sure that wasn't the reason why, but more complications equals more more surgery needs to be done. So you take good care. And you were younger, weren't you? Were yeah. you younger? I was in about year ten or eleven. Okay, now you're a wiser. Yeah. Third year university student working in a bar, right? <laughs> so. Next week. Next week. Uh, okay, we're all done with the filming. Thank you very much.